So today I'm going to be reviewing Star Stable Mistfall. I basically got together all of the comments I could find and reviews that people left everywhere like Instagram, Reddit, YouTube, and I put it all together so you don't have to. I'm also going to be sharing some of my first impressions of the show. And lastly, I'll be training at the same time. So train with me if you want. I'm going to be training Angel. I guess I'll start with my reactions first. So, first of all, I didn't expect it to be like 10 5 minute videos. I kind of thought it was going to be like a normal episode length, but it kind of worked. It wasn't too long and I felt like they got what they needed to get done. I don't know if it would have been better if they just combined it all into like a one hour episode. They called that like a season. I felt like it was like 50 minutes, but at the same time, this is like a game this is just kind of something they're doing on the side so i get that okay let's talk animation so some of the acting and animation was pretty bad in my opinion like mostly from ranya but for the most part i thought it was pretty good just like there were some moments like the laughing i can't remember i think it was maybe episode four where ranya and sky were laughing and it was so awkward <laughs> but these things happen in animated shows you know like that's understandable as far as like the horse animations go it was not my favorite i mean it worked for the show after the by the end of the last episode i totally was down for it i was like oh actually these are kind of cool but at first i was kind of like i mean they have such great animation in the game and obviously it can't be the same because it's a show you know it's not the same thing anyways it just looked super different like the legs were really skinny and the noses were pointy and they had like these weird circles around their eyes but by the end i thought they were really cute i don't know if that's just because i got used to it i'd love to hear what everyone else thought about the animation of the horses also, one thing that kind of surprised me, I wasn't expecting to super like it at all or really get into it. I kind of was just like, well, I should probably watch this just to see if it's good. And I actually liked it more than I was expecting to like it. I mean, the plot was really good. I thought it was creative. Another thing that was kind of nice is they actually pronounced some of the places and the people, and so that kind of settled some of the arguments about how to say things like your region. I thought it was really funny how they talked about like the transition, like the name change from Magic Horses to Jorvik Wilds. I thought that they kind of like played it off in like a funny way. Okay, another thing, the sound effects, just like the people's sound effects, like the noises that people made when they were like lifting something or when Sky was trying to get out of that locked room. I was like, <laughs> these noises are kind of weird like it was distracting also sam is so sketchy like what is that all about i mean he was kind of like built up to be like the evil character right like he had like the mean faces and like locked sky in a room loki but then at the end he was like being a creeper like watching them walk away and then like it went from his face to like the dark riders and i'm like is sam a dark rider Okay, so now I'm going to be reading your comments and some conspiracy theories. So let's start things off on a positive note. Mistfall is the best series ever. I mean, I don't know if it's the best series ever. I agree, it was pretty good. It was better than I was expecting, but I've definitely watched things that were better than that. Okay, the next one is also super positive. Please, will you make more episodes and seasons, please? I agree. I'd like to see another season, if that's what you would call it. I like how their seasons are actually episodes, pretty much. Yeah, I'd like to see another season. I definitely want to know what happens. The next person said, This is so interesting, especially Sam's history. I feel like he's going to play an important role in the game too someday. I mean, I don't know if it talked a ton about Sam's history. I didn't like Sam. Maybe it did, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know about anyone else, but I think if he did end up playing like a role in the games, like it would be 
I mean, it would kind of be hard to incorporate it. They've kind of already written the story. How would he play an important role? I thought was that maybe he was like one of the dark writers, so maybe they could add that in. I don't know though, once you start changing like the main characters, like then it gets a little bit confusing. Ooh, okay. There were so many comments like this. Someone said, LOL, I ship Scania, but I have so many questions. Okay, let's talk about the questions. Yeah, I have so many questions too. Maybe I'm confused, but like when you ship people, doesn't that mean like they're in a relationship or something? Like Rania and Sky were definitely just friends. That was what kind of confused me. A lot of people were like, oh, they're so like good together. Like I love like them, I ship them. I was like, wait, why are we making this weird? Like they're just friends. If anything, I thought like the stable boy and her actually had like a thing. You guys did such a beautiful job on Mistfall. It is so relaxing to watch. All those trees and the soundtrack. I must have watched it all the way through at least three times already. First of all, wow, that is a lot of times. I mean, I guess if you watched it three times, it would be the actual length of one movie. So maybe it's not that crazy. I definitely, I could maybe watch it again, but I don't think I could watch it three times. Like that's pretty intense. And I would agree. It was relaxing to watch. The music was on point, which I already talked about. Not even just like the soundtrack music, but like the credits. It was all just like really good. Yee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Only in French. If I finish this race, it will be a miracle. The hooded people intrigue me and I want to know more about them. I love Blank's theory on it. I also don't trust Sam too much. Same. Especially after those strange chant sounds he was making. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, can we talk about that? That was honestly so weird. Like I've never seen anything weirder than that. The chance, like what was that all about? Like it was so sudden, I wasn't expecting it and it got real weird real fast. I would agree with that. I feel like a lot of people commented on like the weird chant sounds. They were just like, um, why? Um, not to brag or anything, but can we all just appreciate the fact that I just finished that race? It is so hard. I've never finished it before. Okay, it was good, but I was a little unsure about the runestone parts and the chanting stuff. Couldn't agree more. Like the runestone stuff, that's in the game. So like, I guess that I, I get them like bringing that in. As far as the chanting, like what even was that? I love bananas. Great. There were a surprising amount of comments about bananas. I think it was like some sort of separate thing because they didn't talk about bananas in the series, but I think like on Star Stable's Instagram that they maybe posted a video or something or a picture. I'm not sure. I'm not, I didn't like keep up with what was happening. I think the people involved are incredibly talented. It's crazy how Matilda Opalpie and Bennett Sandu, I don't know how to say their names, can change their voices so much to suit the character. I would agree with this. I don't really know what their original voices sound like, but I thought for the most part, the voices were good. But for Rania, it was a little bit awkward. I don't know, maybe that's an unpopular opinion. And like, maybe it's because she was blind that they weren't using like very much facial expression. So maybe that's why I thought it was awkward, but it just, she kind of sounded like a robot most of the time. The animation style was very cute. I kind of wish the characters were drawn to look more like the in-game NPCs, but nonetheless, I still love them. Okay, that's interesting. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier. It doesn't look like the game, but it's not a game. So I don't like necessarily know if I want them to look the same, but I would agree the animation was very cute. Like that's a good word for it. Also the animation was pretty good. Like I feel like cartoons and animated shows and whatever now are like pretty good. Like the movements were all well done. I don't know how to explain better than that. Oh, this comment. Okay, it doesn't really make sense. So I'm gonna try to read what I think they were saying. Well, I don't like this. It's always the same fable. Girls 
aren't interested in horses, go in a place where there are horses, find aggressive or wild horse, start riding them, almost perfect from the start, and work with them while nobody can. She lies so people are mad. She goes on a completion where it's bad girl. I don't understand that. Maybe boy, but I don't saw that. That sabotage main character and horse do something bad. Go back to live in a stall alone. Try to sabotage the main character, but she wins. And everyone is happy and nobody likes the mean girl. Okay, obviously I crashed like 80 times while I was reading that because it's so long. <laughs> Probably, I can't even believe I'm still in this race, honestly. Um, I think basically what they were trying to say is like, it's a predictable narrative, which... I'll give them that. Like, that is like a pretty common thing. Like there are a lot of movies like that where a girl who doesn't like horses goes to live on like a ranch or something where there's only horses and they have to learn how to like take care of them. And then there's like a wild horse that no one can tame, only they can. Like, yeah, that's a real thing. But at the same time, that's what people like. And also I thought like, it was interesting. Like I didn't feel like it was anything I'd seen before. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it did suck. <laughs> like the whole starting fires thing, that was interesting. I don't know, there was enough like in there, like enough interesting like different things in there that I didn't feel like bored at any point. I was like wondering what was gonna happen. So I kind of disagree with your comment, but I see where you're coming from. This comment though, trees, trees, and you guessed it, more trees. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a bad thing. Obviously there are a lot of trees, it's mistfall. Like, have you ever been there? It's a forest. But while we're talking about the trees, I thought that mistfall was like the perfect location to pick to build a storyline around. Cause it's like kind of got that like creepy magical vibe. And also it's just really scenic. But in the trail ride, Garnick was speaking. It shows that we can contact Garnick. I really hope this is some connection to the storyline. It would be super cool if they do that. Is Garnick one of the Dark Riders? Or I think they're talking about the end when Garnick or one of the Dark Riders was talking. I don't really understand this comment. I'm kind of going to just drop that there for anyone who wants that. I don't know how to explain it, but Sky listens to Sweater Weather. You don't need to explain yourself. Honestly, I know what you're saying. Like. Sweater Weather is kind of like one of those, you know, hipster songs and she's got like that vibe going on that like she's got like her mom jeans, but like maybe not in a cute way. I feel that. I can't find where to watch it. Someone help me. Someone help me finish this race. So there are a lot of comments like this. Like I feel like this is one of those people who didn't try to find it and just like asked a question before trying. I saw another comment that said like, they were asking on Star Stable's page, they were like, is there an episode seven? And they were like, yes, just search for it. And I came across the same thing. I see what happened. What happened is they were watching one and then it came up with two automatically and same with three, four and five and six. But then when I got to seven, it wasn't like somehow connected. So all you literally had to do was search for Stable Miss Fall episode seven and it came up like the first one. But I just know that those people didn't even try to find it. So I don't even feel bad. Like, I feel like there's always a lot of people commenting on their page things that people could probably just figure out by themselves. Sorry, was that mean? I wasn't trying to be mean. I love Dellinger. I love Dellinger in the game and series. He is cute. Uh, I agree. I mean, he's actually like one of my least favorite NPC horses in the game. So that part I don't agree with, but he was cute in the series. Definitely, I saw way more comments about how like Blaze was so cool. And like, I agree. I mean, or she, is it a girl? I was a little confused there for a second. Cause Blaze is like a guy name. I don't know why it just is. I think of all of the horses to think, oh my gosh, that one is so cool. Dellinger is probably not that one for me, at least. Okay, so this comment is in response to the one someone made about Garnock that I was all confused about. Okay, they said, I hope so too. 
I think they're talking about hopefully there was a connection there. But I don't think Garnick was the one speaking at the end. He is a monster and there's no way to contact him since he is trapped. I don't include what happened on the trail because I think it was a bonus or sneak peek. Oh, so what they were talking about is like a bonus clip that was shared before the series came out. That makes sense. Like, I guess, oh my gosh, these bears. They remind me, if anyone's ever been to like Disneyland, it reminds me of the abominable snowman popping out on the Matterhorn ride. Anyone? No? It's a little scary, I'm gonna be real. In the interview, Alice said that when I was also Sky's age, when I was about 15 to 16, Sky and Rania is the same age, and Rania is 18 now. So this whole storyline happened two to three years before our character arrives in Yorvik. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, whoever left this comment did their homework. Like, they did the math so that we don't have to. That's kind of crazy. So I wonder if that's true. Like, I, so this is like before we ever got here. Hmm. I mean, that makes sense. If they're gonna turn Sky into an NPC, wait, is Sky already an NPC and I'm just like blanking right now? No, I don't think so. Maybe. Okay, well, if she is or is going to be an NPC, that would make sense that this would have happened before we got there because then they can tell us about it. Who's Alice also? I don't know who Alice is. What I'm learning from this is that I actually don't know anything. Oh, here's what I was talking about, more banana comments. True, me too, bananas gave me gas, is like a nuclear boom came out of me. I don't even know. Oh my gosh, please no. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. I never had that experience with bananas. It sounds like a medical emergency. And then someone else said, nah, bananas. Love this series, watched it three times today. The music and the animation style are just the cherry on top. What is it about watching this three times? That is that like, it's like the magic formula or something? This race just like triggers me because there's not enough time if you mess up to like finish. And I'm like, how do you expect me to be perfect? Like I can't, I'm not good enough. Like I just can't do this. Maybe I'll do the new Moorland races again. Sam's probably a member or was a member in that third circle, or at least he knows them. When he said he'll be back and went to ride, he went to talk to someone from that third circle. Yeah, like that's kind of what I thought too. I thought he was a member of the third circle. It would be interesting if he was talking to them in that time, I don't know. Okay, this is a really long like conspiracy theory right here. So they're talking about the hooded people at the end. At first I thought that it might be a dark rider because their suit is similar, but now I'm not sure. Oh, I always thought it was a dark rider too. I think this is something that happened in the past, long before Sky was even born, and if I'm right, the dark riders couldn't have done that. Not before Mr. Sands built the hell portal for them so they could arrive to Yorvik. Also, if this is a dark rider, why aren't they using magic? This is not a druid either. SSO gives us more and more reasons not to trust them, but would they hurt a horse? So there's one sensible answer that comes to mind. Do you remember the ritual that we could witness during the haunted trail ride? There was a few hooded people who I think were sacrificing horse. They couldn't be the keepers of a dean because after we got close to them, a tentacle appeared and Garnak spoke to us. This person is also hooded and they are about to burn a horse. Why are they doing that and who are they? I guess we won't know before Mistfall is released. So I guess that's someone's conspiracy theory, like before they saw Mistfall. Interesting. I guess they were just trying to figure out like who the, fi the hooded people were. I thought they were dark riders, but now I'm like second guessing myself. Okay, like I don't have any more conspiracy theories or reviews to read, but I need to get to level six because I'm almost there. Okay, thanks for training with me. Hopefully, if you haven't watched Mistfall yet, this helped you decide if you're going to. And if you did watch it, leave a comment. I wanna hear what you guys thought about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.